Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we are finally going to show you our whole garage makeover and give you a tour. But first, you need to see where we came from. So four months ago we did a little intro, so let's take a look at that so you can see where we started. The time has come to clean up this space. I like going to yard sales and thrift stores and I find all kinds of really cool things to repurpose and to using other things but you know it's just got way out of hand and I have really too much stuff and I need to really purge it and keep what I really want and really make this into a space that we can use. So the big reason we want to get this done now is because this is going to be our summer workshop. There's a window in this garage so we can have an AC during the summer Yay. in Florida and that is a must. <laughs> so this is going to be set up as a workshop from the very beginning and that's what we're excited to do and we're happy to have you guys join us on the journey. Before we started moving even one thing in this garage, we started about a month before creating a plan. So we made a layout of this whole garage. We knew all the dimensions and we knew what we could put, fit in here and where we should put everything. We also created a mood board for different ideas that we wanted to use. And we started a Pinterest board, like our dream list of what we wanted in the garage. Well, we realized all of those things came from the Home Depot. So we thought, well, let's see if the Home Depot would like to sponsor the entire garage makeover. And you know what? They did. <laughs> We talk about the Home Depot a lot because we really do love the Home Depot and we really shop there. One of the big things that we like about it is there's a lot of options on how to shop there. So one of them is you can go into the store and you can buy right from the shelves. Another thing is you can actually go online and you can do something called personal pickup. So you order it online and then you go to the store and it's ready for you in the customer service area and you just pick it up. And if it's a big item, we'll actually put it in your, in your car for you. So we actually did that with the flooring. We did that with like the big husky uh, tables and tool chests. So a lot of these items we did with personal pickup and was able to quickly get it to our car and get it home. The other option is delivery. So some, some items you can actually have delivered straight to your home. So like our lighting and some of the other items just came straight to the house, which was really nice. Once we had our plan and our sponsor on board, it was time for the clean out. And this was really, really the hard mm -hmm. part because you saw there was a lot of stuff in this in this garage. So Steph devised a plan. We made a keep pile, a trash pile, sell pile, and donate pile. And everything, our goal was to just touch everything one time and put it in one of those four piles. And then we dealt with those piles later. The reason I decided on the four pile idea is because this is mom's stuff, this is her house. And I didn't want to make any decisions for her. I wanted her to say, Yes, keep this. No, don't keep this. And what I thought would happen is ultimately she would look at her keep pile and start taking some more stuff out of the keep pile. And that's ultimately what happened, which was awesome. So she made all those decisions and the things that she wanted to keep are still in the garage, but they're nicely organized. Once we had the four piles, it was then time to deal with those different things. And one of those was the sale pile. I know you couldn't tell from the video, but there were a lot of pieces of mid-century furniture in here. And we decided to sell those in Craigslist. And we did that very successfully. The rest of the smaller things we decided to have a yard sale which we did one Saturday and was kind of neat we got our signs at the Home Depot I had no idea that they had yard, yard sale signs. signs yes now that you know how we got started we're gonna give you a whole tour of the garage each of us are gonna take turns showing you some of our favorite things and if you want some more details about a couple of these items we've actually made 14 videos have you seen them all about the garage makeover and we'll put links to those below so if you want more details about any of these things they may be in those videos and let's get started okay let's go we're actually going to start at the entrance door to my house and this corner is actually pretty whimsical and we decided to add some color and some personality to it. The door has a fun stencil on it. We added the um, new hardware um, keypad so I wouldn't have to find a key. And over here we have basically it's a room divider so we don't have to see into our storage space and it functions as kind of our office space and decor and some fun things that we wanted to put into the garage. Next we'll move over to our 5-in-1 storage unit. This works as a room divider for our storage space back here. So we can move this out of the way and we can access our storage and we can access the little mini cooper in here. This is our little storage space and it's well hidden and we don't have to look at all this stuff on a regular basis. Inside we can store our ladders and all kinds of different things. Here you can see how we installed simple brackets to hold the ladder and we use pool noodles to keep it all in place. Moving right along, this right here may look just like the side of our wall, which it kind of is, but we actually put a, um, a adhesive back measuring tape right here, and so this can be used for two things. It can be used as a growth chart so we can find out our height. I have nephews and niece, and there would, they would be fun to watch their height. But also what's cool is, let me grab something, is when we have a piece of wood and we need to see the height of it, 
we can tell right here. So this is just a little over 34 inches. So that's another cool thing that we can use with our growth chart. Moving right along, right here, this is a must for any garage we have now learned. <laughs> this right here is a retractable extension cord. So after I pull it out, I can set it to a length and then I have an extension cord that I can bring anywhere in the garage, which is really nice. We've been using this for our miter saw and any of our quarter tools, which is a must, I must tell you. And there you go, great feature. Now, now that I'm here, I also wanted to show you the light right here. So these, uh, we put eight, uh, LED lights in here that we all tied together and you can see a full video of that on our website and also right below me is the flooring that we absolutely love this is a product by G floor and this has we've had this installed for over a month now maybe two months and we love it it's held up super well it's a very heavy-duty vinyl hey over here this is a continuation of our storage space, and this is for our wood storage and actually some of our outdoor tools. We had two of our wall control panels left, and we decided to put them over here. And this is holding um, different um, chemicals and things, yards of tools. And this, you've probably seen the video on this, this is our partition wall. And this is basically to close off that storage area. So this was actually a lot of fun to do and very challenging. Um, our miter saw is on wheels, and that's kind of an overriding theme in the entire garage. Things are on wheels to make them portable. Over here is our wood storage, again, on wheels, so you can move it out. Behind it, we're able to put larger pieces of wood, and over here are different lengths of wood, all nice and neat. And while we're in the corner, let's take a look at the back side of this garage door. These are insulating panels, and we put them on here because you know what? It gets really hot in Florida, and it really has made a difference in the temperature of this garage. What do you have for us, Steph? Well, Mom, now we're going to show one of your favorite things, and one of my favorite things. It's the wall control metal pegboard that we installed here in the garage. So we have a full wall over here, and we have a full wall over here, which is amazing. This was actually, um, this was given to us by wall control, which is one of our sponsors. We love them. And we went with the blue because, well, blue is one of the colors in our logo, and we love the blue. And we really are happy with it. We feel like it gave a nice little pop to the garage. So over here, I wanted to show you. These are our three Husky tables, which we have a video on as well. But these were exactly what we were expecting. So we wanted three large tables that we could pull out and we could make any height. And when we didn't need them, we could nestle them, them together like we have, but we actually haven't been nestling them because we're using them all the time, we have learned. Uh, we can also put them together and we can cut a 4x8 sheet right on top of them and not have to do it on the floor, which is awesome and a must. Also right up here, we have a simple wood balance that we made out of pallet wood and we just printed those letters and cut them out and decoupage those on. And then we have a shade that we actually custom ordered through homedepot.com. You can order the different materials of the shades. You get samples and you can figure out which color you like. And then you can order the exact dimensions that you want. And here's a little video of us installing the shade and how that process went. Now, like we mentioned back four months ago, one of the reasons we wanted to do this garage makeover is because we wanted to have an AC, which is right here. We actually bought this a year ago for my garage, but we didn't have a window in my garage. Mom's garage has a window, so we were able to put the exhaust right from the window. We use this every now and then, but we haven't used it that much because we have five fans that are always on in the garage. And it keeps it pretty cool, and the insulated door keeps it pretty cool as well. So I don't know how long this will be here, but we do enjoy it for now. <laughs> One of the things that was essential for this uh, garage makeover was a place to sit and a place to stand to reach things that are too tall for us. And we settled on these Gorilla Ladder stools and they are absolutely perfect. And one of the things we do like about them is when we put the Husky tables on the lowest level, we can set them in front and use those tables as desks. Moving on to this, this is actually, uh, actually one of my favorite things. It's our trash can and it's on wheels. So we can move it to wherever we need to. And actually we do move it a lot, but you can buy the base um, that goes along with the trash can. And over here is 
is our Husky shelving system. It's massive and it's absolutely perfect. And if you'll notice, we put, um, there's little stickers here and this is a little uh, sticker paper that prints photos. And this is actually a photo of what's in those containers. So now we can just look at the photo and see what's in there instead of having to look, lift all the lids. And moving on over here is our Husky tool chest. This was actually a late addition to the garage because we didn't feel like we were gonna need it with all of the wall storage, but there's just a few things that need to be put into drawers and that's what um, we have in here. So we can put a lot of our hand tools right in here. And up here we have a filtration system and it's on a remote so it makes it really convenient for us to use it. And here you can see us installing it. Probably my favorite feature of all is Alexa, garage off. Okay. Yes. Garage on. Okay. Now, what does every new space need? A ribbon cutting. <laughs> So we are going to now cut the caution tape and welcome in you into our brand new, ready to use workspace. Ready? Ready. Yay! Come on in. Welcome. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you like this project and you want to see more from us, be sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com and subscribe right here on YouTube. Click the bell and you'll be alerted to all our new projects. The time has come to clean up this mess. <laughs> that was all we needed. Cut. And maybe the stuff that is stuff is uh, in some of the <laughs> hidden storage. Comment below if you want to know the story on the, the giant, giant scissors. scissors. <laughs>